So now they're going to give us a function and we have to state what the domain is. So in our first um, example, we can uh, see if it's a function. They tell us it's a function, but you've got two, three, four, five, six, all mapping to different um, range values. So all the, the domain elements are only, the inputs are only mapping to one output. So it's a function. Uh, but it's a finite set of ordered pairs. There are one, two, three, four, five ordered pairs. So in our domain, we're going to have five elements. So we write this, it's a finite set. We write it as a set. So the domain, I usually just put D for domain, but you can write out the word domain. It's going to be all those input values. So two, comma, three, comma, four, comma, five, comma, six. Those are the only domain elements that we have for that function. All right, now with this function, they give us an equation. When they give us an equation, we're going to look for those two things that we talked about earlier in the first video. Is there a chance I would be dividing by zero? Is there a chance I'd try to be taking the square root of a negative number? In this case, no, you have x squared minus one. So is there any number you couldn't put in for x? And all real numbers will work. You can put in any real number for x and get a value. So we're going to say the domain is all real numbers. Now, sometimes people will write out all real numbers, but for our purposes, we're going to use interval notation. So the domain is from negative infinity to infinity. Okay, so that's how you write it in interval notation. Okay, um, there's no number that would not give us a value, a real number value. So any real number will work for X.